Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another workout. Today we're going to define your whole body with a 30 minute full body HIIT workout. So for today's workout, you don't need any equipment, just yourself and a soft surface if you are on like a hardwood or a tile floor since we will be doing some work on the ground. Today's workout structure is we have three different circuits. We're going to do each circuit twice before we move on to the next circuit. So we'll do um, two rounds within the circuit back to back before moving on to the next circuit. And we have a 30 second rest between each circuit. We have five moves per circuit and then the timing will be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. Um, but yeah, so that is the structure for today's workout. This workout does not include a warm up. But I really want you guys to warm up before you start this workout since it is a HIIT style high intensity workout. Um, well actually any kind of workout you really want to warm up properly before you start the workout. So I'll go ahead and link a warm up right above here. Um, so you guys can do that before you join me in today's workout. So after you guys warm up, I will see you guys back here again and we will get into the workout. Okay, so we have about 20 seconds before our first move. I'll go ahead and show you your first move. You're going to start feet together, knees together, legs together. Start down here, and then you're going to do a big jumping jack, and then come back down, up and down. So you want to get nice and low, and then nice and high when you get stand up. Two, and one. Here we go. Let's get nice and low. So I want you to really curl down nice and low, but don't round your back, flat back. Get low and then really explode up. Nice big arms, so don't bring up, make little arms, big arms. Light on your feet, core is engaged. lunge to your right on your right leg, twist and tap your left elbow to your right knee and then back into side lunge, twist Three, two, and lunge, here we go, exercise two, keep your weight in your right heel, if you feel any pressure in your um, right knee that means you just send your weight back a little more. left side. Then we're going to slow it down, 
for the bit easier. But it is mainly focused on the core. Hang in there five more seconds. Three, two, one. Woo, perfect. Okay, you're gonna meet me in a hovering bear position or tabletop. You're gonna do two walks. Then you're gonna shoot through and then come back to the center. Three, three, two, and shoot through. Here we go. Exercise five. So keep your hips nice and low. So I don't wanna see any high hips. Your knees are hovering two inches off the ground. Ooh, I'm gonna kick the ball. I'm gonna face back this way. So this is our last move of circuit one. So we're gonna do this whole thing one more time. So we're gonna start back at the top. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh. Okay, so you're gonna meet me in that narrow to wide jumping jack. So start down here and then explode up. And then we're done three, circuit one. Two, one. Here we go, let's Exercise do this. One. Just keep thinking we're not doing this move again. Remember, this move can be really easy unless you get really low. Explode up. Nice big arms. All hit style workouts, you make it challenging. So it can be super easy. I really want you guys to push yourself. You can do it. 15 more seconds. Okay, we have one more move. 
We are done. Circle one. too much on your core just keep your feet down and then crunch right here so I want you to try a couple with your legs extended if you feel like oh man I can't do it place your feet down do a couple there and then come back to this one Right knee to right elbow, place it back, right knee to chest, switch sides. Three, left knee to left two, elbow, left one. knee to chest. Exercise, here four. we go. 
So I don't want you to rebound and bounce here. I want you to squeeze, 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 place back, squeeze, 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 and in. Good. Think heavy tailbone, but don't let your lower back arch. Exercise five. Option to skip the jack, and you can just tap side to side. Keep your gaze towards the top of your mat, and the heavy tailbone not up here. But don't let your lower back arch. Really pretend like someone's pulling your heel. Pull, pull, pull. And then. Switch. Oh, my hair is. That's not the coffee. Three, 
two. Okay, one. here we go. Exercise so right four. Right to right elbow, pull, pull. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze into your chest. Place it down. Then left leg. So this exercise is completely pointless if you just kind of just move your leg rather than squeezing your leg. If it helps, when you bring your knee to your elbow and chest, you can look at it. It really engages that muscle. Two, one, Ooh, rest. Okay, take it, to, take it to your forearms and then we got those plank jacks. And then we are done and then we have one more circuit and then we are done. Ooh. Three, line five. Two, one, okay, here we go. Exercise five. Keep your hips down. Grab some water, towel off, fix your hair if you need to. And then we're gonna get into circuit three. Okay, we move in seven seconds. Your first move, you're gonna reach up and then you're gonna go in place ice skater. So down and up. You can always skip the arms and keep them right here. But using the arms is really going to bring that heart rate up. Again, keep your weight in your heels. lunge position and then you're going to take your right hand out left hand to your side when you lunge down Three, you're going to switch hands two, and then come one. back up here we go exercise two so this one's a lot of balance so try to find something that's not moving use your breath you don't just aimlessly move your hands powerful from the back and core And then back in. So we move in four three, seconds. Two, one. Here we go. Exercise three. As we get towards the end of our workout, we start to slow down. Try to keep that momentum up. After the workout, I feel like you're dying right now, but three, 
Two, one, rest. Okay, we're gonna lunge and punch um, in the other direction. So you're gonna have your left foot forward, left hand forward, punch, and up. Three, two, one. Okay, exercise four. You might notice one side is a little more stable. That's completely normal. So elbows brush right by your side. Okay, it really helps to use your breath. Which is why I'm breathing like that. Round. We have slow tricep push ups and then you push up to mountain climbers. So elbows brush by your side. Three, two, one. Three. Roll up. Two. Four mountain climbers. Here Exercise we go. Five. Nice and slow. Remember, you can always do the um, tricep push ups on your knees. Just make sure that your hips are right underneath you and that you're not doing them like this. So keep them tucked underneath you. Last move, and then we do this one more time, and we are done. You guys are rocking it. Way to stick with me. Three, 
two, one, Ooh. rest. Ooh. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Left foot forward, right foot back, lunge and punch. I love an eight three, two. Okay, one. here we go. Exercise. Left foot four. forward, left hand forward, punch and switch. My hair is probably a mess right now. The best workouts are the ones where you get the hair of accomplishment. So, um, again, thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You're going to feel so good afterwards. Take a nice shower. Um, eat something good. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate it, and it lets me know that you guys liked it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would love to have you work out with me again. Um, so fun, I have a lot of varieties from bar, Pilates, HIIT, song workouts. Um, so I've got a lot on the way. Way to crush another workout, guys. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night, and I will catch you guys in the next workout. Let me waste your time.